Hello, um, just uh, I have for a K motor kit which is come from China and uh, that is like that is um, the invoice where it's come and um, just to let you know uh, two weeks later I have received uh, from uh, UK customs uh, that is I have to pay um, important tax or something like that which 33 pounds and 75 pence um, and um, the the bike kit cost me 530 pounds uh, roughly and plus uh, 3375 which is makes the totals 56375 that quite uh, unusual well I didn't expect this kind of thing is come up that I have to pay additionally about 33.75 is roughly um, 50 dollar US dollars more for the kit and the conversion kit and um, what well, actually it's uh, happened with this uh, there's a small motor and there is a company name let me make more clearly That is how the the, the manufacturers call itself, KDE, and um, uh, I start building everything together. But first impression, it's uh, that is quite small motor. It's not that big. Um, this is comes with this kind of um, things, but I don't really know how to fit it because it's it's don't let it because of this cable come out I don't know that what I would wouldn't start damaging anything I just put a nut on top of it just avoided this kind of thing Right. <laughs> this side is looks okay. And um, and another thing is the problem with this small thing, the, the magnet disc. Um, I'll try to explain why. Because we originally want to put this to that bike and this push bike doesn't have that gap uh, to put this thing I don't know how to fit it even if I cut it in half wouldn't be like enough to stick to it because it's no it's no proper gap I don't know how and this side the same problem is not a gap but um, there's no way to put on this bike. I've got another bike and it's here. We've got the same problem. Uh, let me do, make it clearly. Uh, there's, a, there's the same problem with this one because it's uh, the gap is too small to put inside. And again the same problem and that why I just make a demo take it off the, the pedal and we trying to put that way just for the just for the test and the gap is really 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 small gap maybe one or two millimeters it's more than enough just Rotate the pedal 
and that why we do like imitate the rolling of pedals that we will have here the fully charged battery the battery is has his own original logo and nice bottle shaped battery and there is a website of this company um, this comes with these connections well, everything connected and it's come to that way it's connected to the control this kind of control is supposed to to increase and decrease um, electricity is supplied to the motor but and that is a computer and computer doesn't show the battery not supposed to, 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 to come up but uh, I come back to this later the battery fully charged connected to the this one and we like trying to make a test because if we like imitate pedaling I think supposed to the they supposed to, to start because it's fully charged but it's um, nothing happening and the only thing which is come up here it's um, when I start to rotate the wheel But well, I'm rotating right now, wheel, and the speedo is start working and start showing the speed of the the bike, and the plus is come up, but there's no battery. I don't know what, what is the reason, but it's I don't know. It's just uh, and this thing is doesn't work too. As I said, everything connected, I think, properly as at the manual, but it just doesn't work. I like the, the size of the motor and very big plus on this device, which is um, the controller integrated inside of the motor, which is pretty, pretty cool because you don't have like extra box to hide somewhere or to put to on a bike because it's already inside of the motor um, but the, the negative side is that it doesn't work I don't know it's I'm has a bad experience with this um, right I'll see you later then come back to you later uh, we'll try to test on the road